Can ISIS be compared to the Nazis? Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Two completely different movements. Um, Woodrow Wilson attempted to form a League of Nations after World War One. Uh, the Allied nations defeated Nazi Germany and I'm uh, not Nazi Germany but Germany and Germany's allies and um, the goal with the League of Nations was to ultimately to provide assistance and help to those peoples who had been defeated help them get back upon their feet and go again just like Abraham Lincoln at the end of the Civil War Lincoln my favorite president of all time Kentucky uh, farm boy country boy um, at the end of the Civil War, Lincoln refused. So many people wanted to imprison the South, to put uh, rules and regulations on the South, to put a chain around at least one leg of the entire South, the Southern people. And uh, Lincoln said, no, we have been, unfortunately, a divided nation now we will be united and so by not helping Germany after World War One Germany fell into chaos we think we got it bad now in the United States and we do there should not be one homeless person in the United States the wealthiest nation in the world today but unfortunately there are millions including lots of people I know I was homeless for a while I lived in my car. I was thankful to have a car to live in for a while, but uh, we didn't help Germany and so we opened the doors. As the great writer Herman Hesse, one of my favorite authors, said, he's a visionary author, wrote Sid Arthur, published in 1992, Steppenwolf, 1927. Hess was finally had to leave Germany because he warned the German people, if you don't change your ways, you're going to have a war come to you that will be worse than anything you've experienced with World War I. And he was despised and there were many death threats and he left and lived the rest of his life in Switzerland. Well, we gave Adolf Hitler uh, the opportunity to form the Nazi party and and um, then we experienced World War II and uh, the millions and millions of deaths, the death camps, were six million Jews um, but it wasn't just the Jews um, that, that was bad enough but it was also uh, the gypsies and I got the gypsy blood in me it was um, those who were disabled who couldn't help themselves. Those were the first ones Hitler attacked. Um, and so it was a nightmare in our history. And as much as I am anti-war, I'm not naive. If we had not fought Adolf Hitler and the Nazis, we would most likely be living in a Nazi world today. So that leads us to ISIS. To ISIS. What do we do now about this Muslim radical militant movement? who are, in the name of Allah, um, leading a war against anybody and everybody, not just the United States of America, anybody who disagrees with their religious, uh, militant religious doctrine. And it's not pretty, folks. It's not pretty. They do not represent Islam. They do not represent um there are more Muslims in the world than any other religion. They do not represent this is mil the militant factions of Christianity, of Judaism, do not represent the, the majority of those people. Um, the Muslims are good people. Good people. Hey, Kentucky, Louisville, Kentucky native Muhammad Ali, you won't find a better human being than the greatest. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee, oh Muhammad, oh Muhammad, won't you please help me? Because I'm searching for some peace, love, and understanding. And I know you are too. Um, so thank goodness for people like Muhammad Ali. 
ISIS, um, if something isn't done, and this is a complex issue, if something isn't done to stop them, it is inevitable that we will end up in World War III. And as I've mentioned before, and I'll mention again, World War III is going to be a nuclear war, and it will be worse than all other wars put together. So I'm, um, I rewrote, after the cartoonists were killed in Paris, I took my poem, I Will Not Bow Down, which I initially wrote in 1994. I have visions. I wake up at 3 a.m. and I, and I have dreams, and I have w sleeping and waking dreams, and I pay attention to them. And I saw a lot of things in 1994. That's when I met the Dalai Lama and wrote Never Give Up with him. That's when I wrote I Will Not Bow Down and tapping my own phone. Um, but initially it was I Will Not Bow Down America because our secret government, starting with the CIA, which was born out of World War II um, and the work we did with um, many of the mm, former Nazis who we brought into our camp because we wanted their secrets and um, so so anyway we got to do something I don't know what we have to do but I changed I will not bow down America to I, to I will not bow down jihadist um, and so I've read that and and um, we've shot that so maybe uh, Shooter will run that with this episode. I will not bow down jihadist to your religion, your militant fascist religious beliefs.